hey y'all how are you all doing today i'm going to show you this quick and very easy tutorial um it is very very simple as you can see so just stay tuned okay so this is my regular natural hair i'm going to be using darling natural twist for my hairstyle today and before that i use chibi butter to moisturize my hair so that when i remove my hair or the braids everything is going to still look intact okay and for my front i am leaving out the frontal part to be able to do the two bands at the front just as you saw from the beginning and this is how i am parting it okay um i cannot part perfect to save my life so whatever you see here just take me as i am like take me as i am thank you very much so to take away or to not let the front part dis disturb me i am going to just braid it down so that i'll be able to work my way through the back okay so i'm basically doing um some rough cornrows at the back at the front and when i was done i just um pinned it with my bobby pin now at my back because i'm going to be crocheting i'm doing cornrows at the back and this is basically how i do my cornrows like i said i can't part to save my life so but then what i i normally do to make sure is that every part of my hair is well laid so even though it is not straightened with the lines or with the pattern everything is going to lay straight if you want you can use gel to make your lines clean but then since we are not leaving the cornrow else then we are going to be you doing um crochets i don't think there's a need to use gel anyway but individual preferences so this is how it's looking and at the back i'm going to be using thread and needle to tuck the back so that i don't um have any removing here and there when i install the crochet braids and i'm going to be using my kaka oil and ayurvedic oil to moisturize my scalp okay now i took one um bucket of one packet of hair and the darling hair comes like this so you take the piece of hair one strand remove the ribbon and the tie and then when you open it into two this is how it looks like and i'm going to be using my crochet pen this is how it looks like it has a hatch and the loop and um, I am going to install it by using my fingers to determine where I want a particular strand to sit. So even though I do have a mirror at the back, at my back looking into it, I still use my fingers to determine where I want each strand to sit. So, so that, um, yeah, basically that is what I do for crochet. And then when you create the loop, you insert the hair inside. I have a, a tutorial on how to do basic crochet just in case you don't know. But then basically the scale of using crochet is what I used here. You set the pin into your convo, not directly under your scalp. And then you attach the hair onto the, the crochet pin and then you you um, close the loop and you pull it through the convo and then you make a tie. To make the hair secure because this hair is rough i didn't need to do double tie some hairs are kind of very very um slippery or they are easily they easily come off after crochet and so sometimes you need to do two knots but this one is very rough so i didn't do any two knots so i am done with all my back now i'm going to install my front and basically what i'm doing here is i divided my hair into two because i want the bands to be two and i'm pushing some hairs as my front to kind of lay down some baby urges and i'm using my gel i use jocelyn edge wax to do it and i'm using rubber bands to secure it and put it into a high band make sure that the rubber band is um, moisturized with oil so that it doesn't come off with some strands of hair when you are taking down the band and i use three pieces of natural twist to kind of um to um wrap up the rubber band and then that is what i'll be using for the band to knot or the high band at my side the one that i am doing and when i was done i twisted the natural twist together with my hair and then i put it into a bantu knot so with the bantu knot to twist the hair and then you move it around the root of your your natural band okay make sure that you are not doing it too tight otherwise girl you are going to have a sleepless night and you might not be able to wear this hair for a long time okay it appears tight but it is never tight so it all depends on your pain level so if it is too tight that your hair is aching or your scalp is breathing please stop it okay and then i did the same thing at my other side by um using the rubber band to secure the three pieces of natural twist and then i attached it onto my natural hair and i made them into a bun okay and i love the ombre part you see how it has beautifully formulated under the bun so it looks like um, a golden trim so i'm going to be using my shea butter mousse to lay down my edges or my baby hair 
um sometimes i use gel sometimes i use um the mousse so it depends on my mood any one that works for you is totally fine and i use my paper wrap to kind of seal everything together and i went ahead to do my makeup and this is how i'm looking guys so this is the final result i hope you like it let me know in the comment section please guys i beg you in the name of god kindly turn on all your notifications if you see my video kindly tap on it and watch for me i do have over 6,000 subscribers but my views are so not encouraging and sometimes it can be very very discouraging guys so i beg you please watch my videos for me i beg you please if you are subscribed then you want to be watching my videos right so please if you subscribe and you are seeing this video i beg you please watch thank you and have a nice day bye